So Danny, please. You in my entire experience yeah. of working with you for what a year and a half, maybe two years now. It's um, less than a month away from two years. So, hey, Danny. Um, I, I think I've. I've known about one date you've gone on. That's the only one. God. That is the only one. Besides the two last week. Two with two different Two men. different guys. Woo! Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, two <laughs> two yeah. two dates with the same two guys on each date? Like three three are, three are people you, total. Are you, are you running a polygamous little thing? Yeah, you're what? trying to be a sister wife <laughs> um, with yourself. I just just wanted to get out there. I decided that I was gonna <clears throat> try to start dating because the problem is over the past six years I've not really like opened myself up to it i'm not really will it wasn't willing to do it because i was like screw that yeah yeah but then i was like you know what i'm gonna do it no way yeah how'd you find the, the boys on hinge hinge oh. <laughs> what is that what it's is a that? dating app like tinder right, but what's the, what's the thing Where's this like thing? um bumble the girls approve right um right Ra- Ra- is like for celebrities or whatever what's the thing on hinge like is it just the same uh, i think that you can Mutual friends. Is it? Oh, that's what it is. You're supposed to have a hinge between mutual oh, mutual friends. That's what it I is. I actually don't know because I haven't been on any of the other apps. I think Dylan just said it. Okay. So? You just, yeah, you have to know someone or some shit. So, but with hinge, you can put like <coughs> fun, quirky little things. I wish we could pull up my hinge thing right well, now. I mean, at what point does it become a branded play? Uh, you know oh, that's true, like, that's true. That's yeah, true. That's true. That's true. Okay. So this one app. Yeah. Just some um, app. So I went on and I was like, I'm gonna be specific about this the stuff that I want, you know? Like I want I wanna yeah. make sure that like adventurous fate have strong in their faith, etc. So I found these two guys that kind of match that. One of them, he pulled up to the date, went to a coffee shop, he drove a Tesla. So oh. I was like, hey, check, oh, check, yeah, Tesla. Yeah, we like nice. Teslas. Yeah. yeah, and he's a rocket engineer. Whoa. So he's kinda cool. cool. Does he work at SpaceX? Um, no. Oh nice. Maybe just oh, figured just because of the Tesla. And then we went. I went bike riding on Saturday with the other guy. No way. Yeah. Did you talk while you were riding the bikes? <laughs> He's probably a hundred pounds. Oh no. So he was way faster at climbing Danny, the hills you could, than me. You could beat the shit out of him. No, I totally could beat the shit out of him, but not <laughs> climbing a hill. You know who I talked to the other day? Who? Austin McBroom, who apparently came into my yard. With face rug <laughs> to try and prank me. <laughs> and what funny. happened? You know what he told me? What did he tell he you? He said you came out of the house with a paintball gun. I did. And yeah. you shot a paintball gun at him. I did. He's like, yo, your assistant's the best ever. <laughs> they, yo, they were in masks, right? Yeah. So it looked like people that just That was the not fence. cool. Danny came out. Boop, 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 boop. I, I shot the first one like next to them just to kind of warning scare shot. him a little. A little warning shot. I shot two off. And then immediately he's like, poof, took his mask <laughs> off. But I made sure to make it like... Like if it were you, I would shop Mike essentially. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right next to All right, sharp. Thank you for that, by the way. Yeah, for of the course. House I got there. you. I got you. I pulled did, a knife on him. Did you? I had that big knife. Knowing it was know. awesome, McBroom. Yeah, because still, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. no, I, I was the first one to make contact with these masked villains in the back. They were standing in the ring, and I walk back there. I'm like shirtless, no shoes on. Yeah. I walk back. And there's just three guys in the ring, and they keep saying, "Where's Logan? Where's Logan Paul? Where's Logan Paul?" I'm like, I can't answer that question right now. I don't know who you are. <laughs> and then I, I finally like, I, I haven't said a word. I've approached the whole time. I stand on the edge of the ring, and they're still yelling at me, trying to say shit. I'm trying to figure out who they are. And then Austin runs t- forward towards me, leans his back up against the uh, ropes, and takes his mask mask off. He's like, uh, "Yo, man, it's me, Austin." Uh, Where's Logan? Uh, from Ace family. We well, took it off as I was shooting the gun. Anyways, the yeah. date, the date. I want to know. Yeah. Did you enjoy the idea of dating, or was it back to the original philosophy of not for me? I didn't. I didn't crazy enjoy it. Oh. It was the the idea of the amount of energy I had to put into texting this person. When I'm like, I'm just gonna see you Wednesday. Why am I texting you and putting energy into like when we're actually just gonna talk in person? Mm-hmm. And then after mm-hmm. that, I was like. Same idea. What's the objective here? What's it's, the objective? What? What? Why are we? You're you're a man's dream, and if you're like that, I, that's, yeah. I don't know many girls that <laughs> are like Obviously. that. They want to text you all fucking day. How you doing, baby? I'm How's work, lunch? How's? I, I'm working and amazing. on my phone texting all day when it comes to work. Guys, so, are you hearing this? If you're watching this right now, the girl's not even gonna fucking make you text her. Hi, she just Danny, see you when she sees you. Old. <laughs> hey, I, I'm serious. I, I bet we could find you a. Done. Oh yeah! In our audience, I, you, oh, know yeah. many, you know how many. Well, we'll do the dating game on the show. Yeah, I need yeah, you to be. Oh. I need you to be taller than me. How tall are you? Tall, Danny. I'm five ten. Sheesh. So I need you to be taller than me and like. Why did David oh. just make direct eye contact with me? <laughs> 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 David just gave me the death stare. David, how tall are you? Five seven. Five seven. It's five, just okay. Here's like the this. thing. 
I don't want to <laughs> feel big, like bigger than you. I want to like, I'm confident in myself. I know like I'm happy with my body and personally, but I want a guy who's not going to be so someone that your, I could like beat up. What's your <laughs> height? What's your I, height I, requirement? Yeah. Like at least six foot, like two inches. I need, cause what if I wear a little pair Wait, of heels? Wait, did you say at least two inches? Yeah. What? Two inches tall total. <laughs> no, you just want like a small I, micro human. Six two. Six two would be cool. I like six, six two. two with a twelve foot belief in Jesus Christ. <laughs> like you, you're looking for. I mean, if you could I date mean, a six foot two pastor, you'd do it. And we and trust me, if if they're watching this show, they're probably devout Christians. Yeah. Devout Christians. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. My dad oh, said, uh, "I watched one of those episodes of Impulsive, and I just don't know how you handle those boys." I have no idea either, yeah. Danny. It doesn't make sense. Like on paper. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I still don't understand. <laughs> Wait, I met a girl. I, I was um talking to a girl. Nah, that's not even true. Nice. I was uh <laughs> I was with a girl for like a day or two who was You remember that girl? You called her a ladder. <laughs> oh my lord. She was, she was six three. She was the oh. tallest human six I've ever three. met. And I said I was like, yo, like how, I, I'm six foot two and I can't not notice how fucking tall you are. And she would wear heels. Too. How, yeah. I said, how does that make you feel? She's like, I love it. She loved it. She loved being taller than yeah. men. I like being tall. Mm. The frustrating part is when a guy doesn't like that you're tall because then it makes you, uh, you're like, well, I'm tall. I'm not changing that. I'm tall. It's your insecurity that you're putting on me. Mm. That's so a I've big had thing. that before. That's yeah. a big mm. thing that dema ema demasculation, demasculation. demasculation yeah. of men because I, I have a girl, I have a girlfriend who makes far more money than I do. And it's something that I've had to, to deal with, you know what I'm saying? She comes yeah. and picks me up in my Lambo. That's fascinating. Her, she comes and picks me up in her Lambo. I walk out with like a lunchbox. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> bye, Lo bye, Logan. See, I'll be back soon. Don't worry. We'll get the content for the, your vlogs. I promise. I'll be back soon. And then she picks me up in the Lambo. She's like, get in, bitch. <laughs> We're going to whatever restaurant I fucking choose. And I'm like, oh, okay. And, she's, like and I'm like, I see the menu. And she's like, you'll be having... The prime rib, medium rare. Don't give him potatoes because he's fucking fat. He's not having potatoes. No, I'm just, like, some of it I'm kidding about. But I don't, which part? Because that all sounded like none, things none I've of, heard. None of it except for the Lambo part where she picks me up in a Lambo. It is, it is so fascinating because it's not like you don't have money. <laughs> But she's like such. She's the breadwinner yeah, in the relationship. She, she so. definitely is. I mean, I just. I also just don't spend. Like she was like, "Why don't you get a matching Lambo?" I was like, "I can," but like I don't. It just seems like a waste. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can one. if I want to, but like I don't. I can even buy it outright if I want to, oh. but I don't. I just don't want to do that. Why would I do that? You You promise? Yeah, I can show you right now. Do you want? Do you honestly? No. no, but like, would uh -oh. you have? Okay, I can pull up my check. Yeah, yeah, we we believe you. I could. I mean, it does, does the just, audience it's, it's, believe me? It's a slight shift in power in the in the in the dynamic between you and, and most, most women. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm gonna give you some advice. Here yeah, we go. please. That, that please. would be so hard for you to apply because okay. you are here 24 seven. And actually, you should you should start leaving like one to two hours earlier. I think. Oh yeah, you yeah. should. Yeah, okay, cool. yeah. Like an 8 p.m. Yes. Like a normal person. <laughs> they deal to 10 p.m. every day. Yeah, if you didn't know, I work 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. six days a week. Chef Katie wants to know if that rule applies to her, too. She's walking through. <laughs> She's like, hey, is there any chance I could leave around that time nah, as well? Chef Katie's going to pick up the extra two hours a day. Yeah, we need you to stay longer with midnight. the late night snacks. Midnight. What are you saying? All right. She said all right. Well, she, Chef Katie also fits in much better with this squad. Not, not, no, you know, no offense, no, no, Dan, but she's a it. fucking lunatic. She's like, a, she's, she's perfect. She's a Satanist, not like Danny. I'm just she kidding. Loves, <laughs> she, <laughs> she loves it's recreational, okay. you know, a little recreational it's drug use here and there. Well, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's uh, the advice. Yeah, I need to, I'm ready. All right. Hold on, hold on, I'll get this. It is so, uh, much more, here's why dating apps, I have a problem with them. You you do not know anything about the person, right? This, right. A, a, a algorithm tells you that this person might be compatible and then you feel obligated to like text until you meet and like forge right. some sort of chemistry. If you can feel that chemistry when you meet a person in real life first, meet them in, who would have guessed real life is better than this, right? right. But if you, can, if you can meet a person in real life and then a spark of interest happens and you feel chemistry there and th it, it might um, be the catalyst to become interested and carry on those conversations uh, as a, a predecessor for the date. Does that make sense? No, it totally makes sense because even like these two guys, sure, there's a on paper it make like outdoorsy adventures, yes. whatever, and then you go and you're like, I don't have yeah, any, there's yeah, no spark or yeah. anything. Yeah. So if you, if you, if you, 
basically I, I I'm suggesting meeting people in real life. Right. But it's again I was saying it's hard because you're you're always here. And where but where do I go? That's that's the biggest the places question. You love. Hey, I don't, places you love. That I don't know. If anyone Erwan. has advice for me too, I, I got it. Like, I'm not answer. going to bars. I have the answer. I tell know? everyone the same exact thing. I'm a firm believer in meeting people in real life. You have to do it. It's the only yeah. I mean you could do it through apps. I get it. People meet matches all the time that way because it's a good start for like maybe people people that are more shy. But if you have hobbies, things you're interested in a, a group, a club, something that you want to go put energy into. It's a lot easier to meet people there that have similar um, time spend as you. And then you're already engaged in one activity. You have something in common from the beginning. And you're like, oh, have you, do done, you, come that? Here often? Have you done that? Me? Like a All club? The time. A club here? I met not a guy. Not a club, but not here. I can't find love in LA. Everyone's focused on their, their work here. Fair. I met a guy on the PCH. I was riding my bike. I forgot about this. It was like a year and a half ago. I was on the PCH riding my bike alone, and there's this group of guys that go riding by, and I hop on their tail and start drafting on them. I'm oh, like, nice. hey, mind if I join in? And then I started talking to this one guy for the whole, we went on 80-mile ride, and I just joined Whoa. in. And See, then that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. The problem with those circumstances is they're much more rare than the swipe, yeah. right? You, you do this 10 times. That's about The apps people. are about volume. The apps are about volume. It. You got to. It's, a, num- it's a numbers game. You meet a bunch of people. One of them you'll find a spark with. Take it from the the app legend. I did apps for fucking for years. Yeah. And by and by the way, the apps you're using are for hookups. Well, yeah, and I, I'm not. You need you need Match.com or even better, Christian Mingle. Christian Mingle. Oh, <laughs> farmers only. Farmers you only. Need wow. cri- you need Christian Mingle because then you know every person on there is of the utmost faith. Twelve foot passers in the faith <laughs> department. You need that shit because the ones you're yeah. on, it's all about meat, margarita, yeah, fuck fest, yeah. and that's not you, Danny. It's you don't want to be in some margarita driven fuck fest. No, I really you're don't. just a good Christian girl. You want to go yeah. bale hay and shit like that. I prefer baling hay. You killed a cow with a bale of hay. I- a baby, a baby cow. <laughs> Danny Whoa. dropped a bale of hay on a baby cow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Past Killed traumas, it, man. and then dragged it home with a little jeep or something like that. Yeah, right? it was a quad. I dragged, I dragged it out to the woods. Does that you still affected by that? Would you say a little, a yeah. little? Yeah, because my friend was like, "You better watch, make sure it doesn't come untied." And then as we, <sighs> oh. and you're how old? I was probably like fourteen. <laughs> that's yeah. gotta be. That's but I worked on a pumpkin patch for, and that was out at the pumpkin patch. A so freshman like, in high school and already a convicted felon. Cow murder. <laughs> you go to jail in India. Well, Danny, I um applaud you. I applaud. Yes, <laughs> I applaud you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank in you. Your dating endeavors, and uh, I, I really, I mean, look, <gasps> if, if you're a a young, driven, good looking bachelor, comment below. Hit up Danny on Instagram. What's what's your Instagram? Danny L Strobel. And if you find any bachelors, yeah, let me know so I can bet the fuck out. Yeah, of I gotta run them by you guys. I'll first. be the older bro here. I'm here, and for then it. he'll be the the dad. 